Welcome back for another video guys. Today I'm going to be installing a trailer hitch for my Ferris ISX 800. This trailer hitch will work on most of the newer models of Ferris and I will also be modifying it to allow for a one and a quarter inch trailer hitch attachment. I'm going to use it specifically for my trash hauler that I built last week. I purchased a NOAA store hitch from Amazon that goes on my Ferris mower and I'm simply going to attach a one and a half inch square steel tubing to the bottom of it. Using the trash hauler that I made last week, I just line up where I need to drill my hole to make sure that the hitch pin can go through and figure out exactly how long I need this to be. Now that I got it marked, I just put it in my vise and drill the holes that I need to make sure that it'll work with the hitch pin size that I've got. Now I just take my square, mark the sides that I want to cut, get my angle grinder with my cutoff wheel and cut it off to the length that I need. All right, now that I got the length cut that I need, it's time to clean up that steel tubing. I just take my grinding disc on my angle grinder and clean off all four sides. All right, now that it's nice and shiny, I just need to mark where I'm going to place this and then I need to tape off, which this is one thing that I wish I wouldn't have done after doing it because it actually caused me more issues when I went to go weld. But I taped it off so I could use my angle grinder and grind off all of the paint on the underside of the trailer hitch. So the reason I'm taking off this nice paint on the bottom of this trailer hitch is so I can weld to it. Having a nice clean surface allows for a better weld. Now I'm new to welding, but I did get one of these blankets that's designed to protect the surfaces around the area that you weld. I really like it. So here we go. I'm gonna tack this into place so I can make sure that it's gonna not move whenever I take my clamp off. All right, here we go. Let's get this thing welded onto the trailer hitch. Now, like I said, I'm brand new to welding. This is literally my second project that I've ever done. So it does take me quite a while to actually get this process done right. There's a lot of grinding and a lot of re-welding. As you can see, there was a little bit of a flame back there. That was from the tape catching fire. That's what I was talking about, how the tape caused me actually more trouble than what was worth. Once I'm done welding, I clean off the surfaces really well and then I go to the other side and start welding it. Soon, it'll be fully attached. Since I'm not the best welder, here I am using the grinder. But hey, you know what? It works. It's perfect for home use, and these welds seem to hold really well, even if I do have to do a lot of grinding afterwards. Now this part surprised me. The paint on the other side of the trailer hitch actually melted. I didn't expect that at all. So what I'd have to do is grind that down and then paint that surface. Now, if you guys are like me, you're kind of like, well, I don't have a welder and they're expensive. Nope, 
If you just go to Harbor Freight, you can pick up this Chicago electric welder. It works great for homeowners, doesn't require any gas because it's a flux core, and it's under a hundred bucks. Now to paint it, I picked up the Rust-Oleum Farm Grade paint. This one was Troy Built Red. It was the closest thing I could get to a Ferris Red. I think it matches pretty well. Only runs about $5 a can instead of the $20 to $30 that you have to pay for for the Ferris paint in a can. All right, let's install it. Whenever you go to install this, put the bolts in that where the nuts will actually be facing towards the motor. That way it gives it a little bit cleaner look. Once you get all four of the bolts in there, lightly tightened, you can then adjust it and get it exactly center to the mower. Now, whenever you're tightening it up with the ratcheting wrench, I recommend you periodically check it before you tighten it down too far. That way you make sure that it is right dead center where you'd like it. All right, got it installed. Now let's try out the trash hauler that I made. Just undo some pins, pop the trash can on there, and take off. Whee! Oh boy. Backing up. Works like a charm. Looks like that guy gives it two thumbs up. Sweet. If you like this modification, just drop me a comment below. Also, give me a thumbs up. It helps the channel. I'd really appreciate it. And if you're not subscribed, definitely get out there and subscribe. That totally helps my channel. Don't forget to check out all of my other places on social media. I even have a podcast. Check out Lunchtime Tech Talk at lunchtimetechtalk.com or on all your favorite podcast streamers. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go out, run, bike and just have fun. We'll see you guys later.